Hello everyone, I am Dr. Jagda Saravanan, Associate Professor in the Department of Mathematics, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Hyderabad. The topic for discussion is Poisson Distribution. We are going to discuss in detail about the definition of Poisson Distribution and the derivation of mean of Poisson Distribution, the derivation of variance of Poisson Distribution, recurrence relation on Poisson Distribution. Poisson distribution. It is a discrete probability distribution and which is discovered by French mathematician Denis Poisson in the year 1837. That is in the Poisson distribution. So if you are finding the occurrence of the event is very small and the trials are very, very large. That is, suppose in your particular, the Hyderabad city, the lots of, lakhs of peoples are living. In that, how many persons, the blind persons are there? That probability if you want. So the large data, what is our requirement is very small. Such a situations, we can use this Poisson distribution. This Poisson distribution, the mathematician, the Dennis Poisson, the binomial distribution extension, he did which leads to the formula and finally his name only that formula named as the distribution Poisson distribution. So we can see it suppose a man he is uh, uh, hitting any target six times so 0 to 6 n is given it is finite so he is targeting six times. He is throwing the coin six times. He is throwing the die six times. So zero to six. It is finite. Whereas if it is poison, how many times it is thrown? It is not given. It tends to infinity. So it ten n here n is finite. It goes under binomial distribution. Here n tends to infinity. It comes under Poisson distribution. That is the first the difference. We must know it. What is the difference between binomial and Poisson distribution? So the definition of Poisson distribution. Here the random variable, the capital X, is said to follow a Poisson distribution if it assumes only non-negative values and its probability density function which is given by, if you are noticing here, probability of x equal to x, p of x equal to e power minus lambda, lambda power x by x factorial. This is the Poisson formula where x is taking the value from 0 to infinity. It has a very large value x will be taking. That's what those places we will apply Poisson distribution. This lambda is greater than 0. That is that this parameter is positive. So the derivation of uh, Poisson uh, distribution, that is uh, the statement of this uh, uh, derivation of the Poisson distribution, that is which is derived from the binomial distribution. That is NP equal to lambda. We know it what is NP, that is mean of the binomial distribution. So the mean of the binomial distribution, which is equal to lambda, where lambda is a real number, then the binomial distribution, we know it, the B represents binomial distribution from that or Poisson formula which is derived. That is e power minus lambda, lambda power x by x factorial, where x is taking the value from 0 to infinity. So this is the binomial distribution formula. 
so we will prove it now so what we have to prove it is ready that is this we have to prove it from the binomial distribution we have to bring this formula that is e power minus lambda into lambda power x by x factorial that we have to prove it already it is proved by the mathematician poisson so np equal to lambda that is available in the statement from which we got it p equal to lambda by n p plus q equal to 1 that is probability of success plus probability of failure which is equal to 1 so q equal to 1 minus p so n c x it's nothing but n factorial this position n factorial this is x so x factorial this is a difference we should see that is n minus x factorial now this particular place we substituted this formula and p place we substituted this lambda by n the x is as it is q place we substituted that is q we know it 1 minus p so 1 minus p is nothing but lambda by n here the power is n minus x it is written as it is now here n factorial it is there n factorial can be written as n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into so on up to 1 we can write but we stopped n minus x factorial so if we stop up to 1 we can write otherwise if we stop in middle with the factorial notation we have to stop yeah we stopped it but here one doubt is ringing in our mind why specifically we have to stop n minus x factorial why not with any other term it's a very good doubt yeah we can see it now so now this n factorial which is replaced by this one so entire thing it is a replaced n minus x factorial before that x one is less x minus 1 factorial it is written the down we are noticing here x factorial is there n minus x factorial it is there in the denominator our target is very clear that is we have to take from binomial distribution formula that is this formula we have to take we have to reach the destination e power minus lambda lambda power x by x factorial this is the destination we have to reach we are noticing in the denominator only x factorial is there there is no n minus x factorial then why we have to remove that term so if we want in the denominator this term to be removed in the numerator also that term is then both will be getting cancel that is the reason that keeping in our mind we stopped here n minus x factorial yes this this getting cancelled yeah after cancelling it is written here the balance everything it is written as it is now we can see it here that is a the last step which is there in the previous slide it is written again yes now this we are going to do some changes that is here the term it is there the first term i am going to take n outside so n if i am taking out means here it is divided by n so it will become 1 minus 1 by n agree so from here one n is there out fine here also i am taking one n out so it is becoming 1 minus 2 by n so one more n is there n into n fine here n minus 3 is there so 1 minus 3 by n 
So one more n, it is multiplied. The last one also we are taking, commonly we are taking n out. So, so on, the last one minus x minus 1 by n, fine. All the n from each term, n, n, n collecting, it is out, it is there now, fine. So now, so this is, this is here. So all the n, the last term, n minus x minus 1. How many times n into, from here n, n, n. How many times? x minus 1. So that's what it is written, n power x minus 1 times it is collected. So it is written here. This we are going to substitute in this particular place. We can see this n is written as it is. This part completely it is written this one. Remaining all this, this it is written as it is. Yeah. So next, this, this step it is there. What is the difference? These two steps, we did some changes. This complete part, we didn't touch at all as it is. Here we did some changes. That is a by b power x is there. We wrote it a power x by b power x. Using that, we wrote it lambda power x n power x. Fine. This we didn't touch at all as it is. In the denominator also x factor factorial, but here the term is n x power n power x minus 1 into before n is there. But the next step only n power x is there. We did some simplifications. It's nothing but n power default plus 1, n power x, n power minus 1. This both combining n power 0, n power x. n power 0 means the value is 1. That's what it is simplified. It is written as n power x. The next step. Here numerator n power x is there. Denominator n power x is there. Both we will cancel it. Yes, we did the cancellation. Remaining all, it is written as it is. Here also, lambda power x is there. But one changes we did. That is, this one, 1 minus lambda by n power n. Here, minus x is there. The positive which is kept in the numerator. This, 1 minus lambda by n power minus x is there. That minus x, the down 1 divided by, it is written. That is the reason the minus x, it has become plus x. Now, this is the last step. We are going to apply n tends to infinity and p tends to 0. Infinity, it's nothing but 1 by 0. 1 by infinity, it's nothing but 0. That we have to keep in our mind before substituting here. Now, so this n is taking the value infinity. That means the first one is 1 minus 1 by infinity. 1 minus now only 1 by infinity, it's nothing but 0. So 1 minus 0 is 1. First one is completed. The second one. 1 minus 2 by infinity. Again, 1 minus 0, it is 1. So, up to here, everything 1, we completed. This lambda power x is lambda power x. Here, x factorial, x factorial. Here also, that is a 0, it's a 1. Next. Here, what? everywhere we applied it, why we didn't apply in this particular place? Now we will see it. e power minus lambda, lambda power x by x factorial. 
this is the result we have to reach the destination. So noticing the down we got it x factorial into 1 x factorial. The up also 1 into 1 into 1 into lambda power x lambda power x. This term also we got it. Only the leftover is this part only we didn't get. Remaining the 2 it has come. Yes. Now the formula which is available that is limit n tends to infinity 1 minus 1 by n power n. We will comparison we will do with our this uh, derivation. That is limit n tends to infinity. Yes, fine. Here 1 is there, 1, fine. Minus is there, minus. Here n is there, n. Here n is there, here also n. But here 1 is there. That's what here we wrote it e power minus 1. But that one place here what is there? Lambda is there. So we will write it e power minus lambda. So we got, we derived from the binomial distribution formula which leads to Poisson distribution. So the Poisson distribution it's nothing but e power minus lambda into lambda power x by x factorial. Now prove that mean and variance of Poisson distribution. That is the mean of the Poisson distribution is lambda. Variance of the Poisson distribution is lambda. This statement like this we can write. The question will be asked in this way or prove that mean mu equal to lambda. Mu we know it, it is mean. Sigma square it is a notation for variance for the Poisson distribution. So proof we will do it. So the summation x equal to 0 to infinity x into p of x. So now x into p of x that is a probability distribution. Our probability distribution is Poisson. So the p of x to be replaced by Poisson. Our Poisson formula is e power minus lambda lambda power x by x factorial. So x this is the p of x which is replaced by it. Now here x equal to x is taking the value from 0 to infinity but in this step instead of 0 to infinity it is 1 to infinity it is there. Why we skipped that 0? The reason is x place if you substitute a 0 here 0 into anything we will get a 0 then why we can neglect a 0 anyway the answer the result is coming 0 that is the reason we skipped that a 0 that summation x is taking the value from 0 to infinity skipping that a 0 we rotate 1 to infinity remaining and all as it is. Yes, fine. Now, x factorial. x we will start. x into 1 less x minus 1. We stopped it. If we stop with the notation, we have to stop. So, x into x minus 1 factorial. The next. So, summation x equal to 1 to infinity this x, the numerator is as it is. If you are noticing the denominator that is x factorial, so x into x minus 1 factorial. This x, this x both are getting cancelled. Now summation x equal to 1 to infinity e power minus lambda. So after getting x, x, this we got it that is e power minus lambda into lambda power x by x minus 1 factorial. Now, the next step, the e power minus lambda, we just, before the summation, we kept it. The remaining lambda x, 
this a denominator x minus 1 factorial is written as it is. The next, we know it x equal to 1. That can be written as x minus 1 equal to 0. Both are same. Now, what we are going to do, the summation related to x is there. Completely, we are going to change from x to y. How to do this changes? Now, x equal to 1 is there. Now, x equal to 1 is there. That is x minus 1 equal to 0. So, this particular place, we can write it y equal to 0. Nothing wrong in it. Because x minus 1, we are taking as y. So, this particular place, it is written y equal to 0, infinity, infinity. x only we are touching. So, lambda power x. So, y equal to x minus 1. So, y plus 1 equal to x. So, x is replaced by y plus 1. x minus 1, it's nothing but y, y factor. So, the summation in terms of x, it is there, completely we changed in terms of y. So, it is written here. Next step, here lambda power y plus 1. That we can write, lambda power y into lambda we can write. This lambda is taken out. So, the remaining is lambda power y. Now, y place we are going to substitute taking the values from 0 to infinity. First, we will substitute 0. That is lambda power 0 by 0 factorial. This value we know it. Anything power 0, 8 power 0 is 1. 0 factorial is 1. 1 by 1. 1. So, the first one, y equal to 0, we are getting the value 1. Next, we will substitute 1. That is, lambda power 1 by 1 factorial. It's nothing but lambda. Next, y place we will substitute 2. So, 2 factorial. So, lambda square by 2 factorial plus so 1. That's what it is written here. 1 lambda by 1 factorial, lambda square by 2 factorial, plus lambda cube by 3 factorial. So, it is a exponential series that is 1 plus x by 1 factorial plus x square by 2 factorial plus x cube by 3 factorial. It is nothing but e power x. It is in terms of x. That is the reason e power x. Ours is in terms of lambda. So, we have to write e power lambda. Here already e power minus lambda is there. e power lambda, this both combining e power 0 is nothing but 1. 1 into lambda equal to lambda. So, mean of the Poisson distribution, the Poisson mean is lambda. Now, we will uh, derive variance. That is, summation x from 0 to infinity, x square into probability distribution minus mu square. Mu is nothing but mean square. Mean is nothing but just now we derived lambda. That means the mu, it is going to take the value lambda. So, this is the Poisson distribution formula. It is summation. Here x square. It is replaced by Poisson distribution formula. Minus is minus. Mu, we derived it. Lambda, lambda square. Yes. Now, the summation is a... Uh, x is taking the value from 0 to infinity. If you are substituting here x plus 0, 
zero into anything it is becoming zero that is the reason instead of zero to infinity here the change it is there one to infinity x factorial x into x minus 1 factorial so this uh, denominator x factorial it is changed into x into x minus 1 factorial why we have to do all these changes it is already it is a derived by the mathematician poisson that is variance of the poisson distribution is lambda the result already declared the declared result only we are doing following these steps we have to get we have to reach where we have to go to reach the destination of the solution of variance of the poisson distribution is lambda to get that these are the steps we are following that's fine here here x square is there here the down x is there that getting cancelled here x is there actually this lambda square should come here yeah next x equal to 1 to infinity here x is there here x minus 1 factorial is there remaining all everything it is written as it is only the thing add and subtract 1 we have done it here add and subtract 1 next step x minus 1 plus 1 is there this combining 1 summation this plus 1 combining 1 summation it is splitted this minus lambda square it is written as it is fine the next step the first summation x equal to 1 to infinity it is there but in the next step instead of 1 to infinity it is 2 to infinity it is written we skipped that one why we skipped because the reason is if you substitute in the place of x1 1, 1 minus 1 the numerator it is becoming 0 that is the reason anyway we are getting 0 if you substitute in the place of x as 1 0 we are getting so we skipped that one the next step we are starting from 2 to infinity this second summation we didn't touch at all as it is this is minus lambda square as it is yeah this is the step the previous slide yes x minus 1 factorial we can write it the factorial notation is there we will start from there x minus 1 the next one less x minus 2 if we stop we have to stop with the factorial notation so x minus 2 factorial now this summation as it is here the numerator x minus 1 here this is also as it is but x minus 1 factorial that is changed we replaced by this term that is x minus 1 into x minus 2 factorial this we didn't touch at all these terms as it is we are writing and bringing now x minus 1 x minus 1 it is getting cancelled and here this e power minus lambda just we brought it before the summation even the second summation also we brought it now x equal to 2 x minus 2 equal to 0 both are same so now what we are going to do this is in terms of x it is there the summation in terms of x it is there completely we are going to write in terms of y 
The second summation in terms of x is there. We are going to write in terms of z. So we can see it here. So x equal to 1. This is the second summation regarding x minus 1 equal to 0. So this particular place x minus 2 that we are going to take it as y. This second summation x minus 1 that is this x equal to 1 that we are going to take it as z. So we can see it here. The e power minus lambda as it is the summation x equal to 2 that we can take it as x minus 2 equal to 0. Our x minus 2 we assumed as y. So y equal to 0 to infinity. Here x. So y equal to x minus 2. y plus 2 equal to x. So x is replaced by y plus 2 x minus 2 we assumed as y. So, it is y factorial. So, if we are noticing the first summation, it is completely in terms of y we changed it. Now, the next, the summation our target is in place of x, completely we are going to change in terms of z. Yeah, fine. Now, x equal to 1. Here, x minus 1, we will be taking as z equal to 0. Now, z equal to x minus 1. So, z plus 1 equal to x. So, this x is replaced by z plus 1. So, x minus 1 factorial equal to z factorial minus this lambda square is as it is. Now, this uh, the first summation. So, lambda power y plus 2 is there. We can split y into lambda square because this all the basic exponential laws a power m plus n which can be written as a power m into a power n. So now this lambda square we brought it out. The left over lambda y it is written here. The same here also. Lambda power z plus 1, we can write lambda power z into lambda power 1. This lambda power 1, we wrote it here. So, lambda power z minus lambda square. So, it is the, the next, the last step which is written here. Now, y place we are going to substitute here, the first one. Wherever y we are going to put it, 0. So, lambda power 0 by 0 factorial. a power 0, the value we know it, 1. So, 1 by 1, it is 1. Next, 1 we are putting. So, lambda power 1 by 1 factorial. So, lambda by 1. We have to remember, 0 factorial is 1. 1 factorial value is also 1. Next, 2 we will take 2 factorial. So, the first one it is going. The second one also the same z place we will put it. Same lambda power 0 by 0 factorial it is 1 plus lambda power 1 by 1 factorial that is lambda by 1. So, we can see it. So, this term which is written as it is this that is after substituting the value from 0 to infinity, we got uh, one series, exponential series that is. This term is written as it is. Here also one series we got it in terms of lambda, this minus as it is, this lambda square as it is. So it is in the lambda. So 1 plus x by 1 factorial plus x square by 2 factorial plus x cube by 3 factorial. It is a series in terms of x. It's nothing but e power x. It's nothing but e power x. Now in terms of x, that's what it is e power x. If it is in terms of lambda, we have to write e power lambda. So this is written as it is. The series is e power lambda. This part here, the series is e power lambda. This minus is as it is. 
lambda square is as it is. Now, this 2 e power minus lambda e power lambda e power 0 which is equal to 1. So, 1 into lambda square plus here this 2 same e power minus lambda e power lambda which is nothing but e power 0 that is also 1 into lambda lambda minus lambda square both are getting cancelled so lambda. So, variance of the Poisson distribution is lambda. That is what it is written here. Now, recurrence relation for the Poisson distribution. So, the Poisson distribution formula is e power minus lambda into lambda power x by x factorial. It is written. Now, the recurrence relation wherever x is there, we can replace x by x plus 1. So, if you are noticing here, x is replaced by x plus 1, e power minus lambda as e power minus lambda, here lambda lambda, x by x plus 1, here x factorial that is x plus 1 factorial, we are dividing this p of x1 by p of x, that is what it is written here. This is p of x1 by p of x. So, it is written e power minus lambda, lambda power x by x factorial. It is a reciprocal, it has come here x factorial by e power minus lambda into lambda power x. We know it x plus 1 factorial. The notation x plus 1 into 1 less if we stop with the notation. So, x plus 1, 1 less is x we will be stopped. So, with notation that is x factorial. We want to continue then x minus 1 factorial, x minus 2 factorial like that it will be extending. Now, this is as it is, e power minus lambda, everything we wrote as it is, we did not touch at all any term, only this x plus 1 factorial, we wrote it, here we brought the changes, x plus 1 into x factorial, keeping in our mind, here the numerator x factorial is there, if we stop this one, up to x factorial, there is a chance both will be getting cancelled. So, this, this we can cancel it. So, we can cancel it here, these steps only. Yeah, here the third step it is cancelled, but uh, simplifications anyway we can do it. This both actually that is the main idea. Uh, we stopped up to that is uh, x plus 1 factorial as x plus 1 into x factorial, fine. This is a lambda power x plus 1. This is a lambda power x. So, we can see it. This all everything we have written as it is. Yeah, this step we cancelled it. This is as it is. This everything it is written as it is. So, the p of x plus 1 by p of x. Here we can see it. This is a lambda power x plus 1 is there. We can expand lambda power x into lambda divided by here 1. Lambda power x is both getting cancelled, the balance is lambda. So, p of x plus 1, it is nothing but lambda by x plus 1 into p of x. Now, we will come to a conclusion about this uh, Poisson distribution. That is binomial distribution. This is the n c x p power x into q power n minus x, the mathematician Dennis Poisson, he limited, he extended this binomial distribution formula. I derived a new formula that is Poisson distribution. This distribution itself is named it as kept. That is the Poisson distribution formula is e power minus lambda into lambda power x by x factorial. This lambda which is the parameter, it is always greater than 0. 
mean of the poisson distribution we derived it that is we got the result lambda variance of the poisson distribution that is sigma square equal to lambda and recurrence relation that is what is the poisson p of x equal to e power minus lambda into lambda power x by x factorial wherever x we replaced it x plus 1 and we did some simplifications we reached this is the result that is p of x plus 1 equal to lambda by x plus 1 into p of x thank you very much like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates